Christy Nicole Nelson, the host of Listen In with Kanan, brought to you by Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM, where I am joined today by my co-host, Mr. Richard Miles Sr. of the Minor Football League. Miles, how are you today? I'm fine, fine. Yeah, lots of great basketball action happening. I know you're usually on the football field, but switching it over to the basketball courts, we have youth from fourth to eighth grades from all across the DMV. Yes, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia are represented in today's tournament. I mean, what have you thought so far about the basketball tournament occurring here today? I think it's wonderful. I like the aspect that the kids, uh, they stress academics first. And, and I like that, the fact that they have to show proof of their report card and stuff. These are type of things that way at a young age, young kids understand your student athlete as opposed to an athlete. Also, I, I'm excited about I see some DC teams here. <laughs> Hopefully that we'll do well, but uh, collectively at the DMV, I, I see a lot of nice talent out here today. The kids excited, the parents excited about it. And I'm just, you know, I, I'm just happy about uh, watching a tournament like this. I mean, the tournament has brought so much action, and you said it. One important component, I like today's tournament, the kids had to make sure that they academically could play in today's festivities. Putting the student, right, and student athlete at a young age, I think it'll carry them very far. It makes me want to get back out there and hoop, but I'll let them continue on for now. But, I mean, so much of the game has changed. I, I'm a little bit older now. Probably could still go back out there and play. And I will say that the game has changed. Some of these kids had their name on their jerseys. That was not a luxury I had in middle school. Let me tell you, I was part of an undefeated team in middle school, right? Right. I'm going to shout out my middle school real quick. Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School in Germantown, Maryland. Shout out to, what year was that? 2005 and 2006 teams. I really just aged myself. But it just takes you, I mean, how much we invest now in basketball. What I'm really seeing is, first of all, this parent support. I mean, it's not just one or two parents. It's a league full of parents here today. And I also think that we're seeing boys and girls, which I think is very important. This tournament stresses the importance of basketball to both genders. And I think right now we're seeing that both genders at an early age, we have skills on the boys and the girls side. So it's great to see that represented here today. Absolutely. I like the fact that, like you said, you alluded to earlier, that you had boys and girls. And think about them, my old coaching days at uh, McFarland Junior High where my girls won the city championship back to So back. you can go on and brag, but I can't. I got, I got to brag, you know what I mean? Uh, but like I say, it's, it's nice to see a lot of young kids and parents out here, and, and they, they learn an early age of the competitiveness, you understand? And and that's what I'm uh, happy about, and I like, like to see the kids mix it up, and you're not playing against the kids down the street. Now you're playing against the kids from different parts of the DMV, right. and that's a plus, I would say. That speaks volume for the league and what they're trying to do. And playing against different teams throughout the DMV, 70, 72 teams are represented 72. here. Absolutely. Let me say that again, 72 teams. Have you been to a tournament? I don't know if you've seen 72 teams play. This is a pretty large tournament. And to have kids from all over playing in middle school leagues, travel team leagues, AAU basketball team leagues, everyone is here, is represented today. No discrimination here at the Howard County Youth Program's sure basketball tournament. Make sure the NBA ain't got their scouts here, you know, because they, they come here early and look at kids, you know, so... But on the serious note, it's, it's great to see this and you see the commitment of the coaches, you know. I mean, these guys are not getting paid for this. So it just goes to show you some of them have sons playing in it. That's good. But the commitment from the coaches alone and everybody collectively that's a part of this tournament, that's what I'm, I like about this whole thing. Well, we're looking forward to the action that's going to happen right here at the Meadowbrook Athletic Center um, out here in Howard County, Maryland. The beautiful, I will say, Howard County, Maryland. But it's going to be a blast. Make sure you tune in for exclusive interviews from coaches, players, parents. We've got it all for you. And make sure you enjoy this hoop action. <laughs> Kelsey Nicole Nelson back here at the Meadowbrook Athletic Complex with Ben Cicchini of Give and Grow Basketball. Ben, let me first ask you, what brought you out today? Uh, we're, we're just starting off the ground, and we really want to come out into the community and build relationships with people, let them know the impact that we're willing to make and that we're going to be making in this community. Um, yeah, and just have a little fun around basketball. Yeah. And let me ask you, basketball seems to be a long-time tool for people to really connect with youth throughout the community. Why basketball for your program to connect with youth within Howard County? Yeah, so basketball is my first love. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's just a no-brainer for me. I actually uh, came to Maryland to work for Under Armour, realized I wasn't making the impact with people that I wanted to, so I went back to the roots with basketball, and now I'm here to, here to stay here to make that impact. Nice. And tell us a little bit more about your program and how people can become a part of such a tremendous program. Yeah, so Give and Grow Basketball is a, a training organization where we focus on helping people to reach their maximum potential on and off the court with innovative mental 
and emotional and physical basketball training techniques. Um, and so we train out of Catonsville, but serving the Howard County, Baltimore City communities. I nice, love yeah. it. So the whole complex of basketball yeah. being covered. Well, Ben, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope to hear more. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. Back here where all the live basketball action is happening. I'm here with Ryan McFarlane. Ryan, you're also with Give and Grow Basketball. Tell me what so far has been the best part of today. Today is just meeting a lot of the different families, coaches, and programs, uh, seeing a lot of different energy out there, and uh, just different ways that teams and communities rep where they're from. And repping where you're from, I mean, what type of impact do you hope Give and Grow Basketball has within this Howard County community? Absolutely. So everything that Ben and I you know, talked about from day one is just providing uh, players of all skill levels elite opportunities to develop their game. Let me ask you, if someone's maybe thinking they're not the greatest at basketball right now, or they're really trying to improve, I mean, is your program for them, or is it more for more of the hardcore uh, skill program basketball players? Absolutely. We want beginners. Uh, we want people that it's new to. Uh, what we come from, you know, we can see more development in someone who's just started out, um, and also we can better track their progress, you know, throughout the whole, you know, the whole process. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And before we leave you, can you give your information for your program where people can find out more? Absolutely, yeah. You can follow us on all uh, social media platforms, Give and Grow Basketball. Uh, my name is Ryan McFarland. That's Coach Ryan at Give and Grow Basketball. And I'll even give a shout out to my friend over here, Coach Ben at Give and Grow Basketball by email. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to learning more thank about Give so and Grow much. Basketball. Thank you. Thanks. Back here at the Meadowbrook Athletic Complex where the basketball action is still rolling on, where I'm here with one of today's winners, Mr. Anthony Fulmore, head coach of the Body Branch Sharks, where your JV team is about to play right now. Are you, how are you feeling about them? I have most confidence in them. Um, I have watched them practice, you know, numerous of times. You know, it's a learning grow for them. And, you know, I just can't believe how proud of them of these guys. You know, they, they, they come ready to play and they give it all they have. And you're a winner of last year's tournament, so what tips of advice would you give to teams that are looking to be in your place? Well, one advice is be patient, you know, and build a relationship with kids. You know, it's all about learning and growing from them. And as years to come, you'll see them come back and be like, oh, this coach right here, he, he won a championship with me. And now with this group I have now present, uh, no different. Like, the tournament is like a preseason thing, just learning and seeing what, you know, to get ready for the season. And tell me, I mean, what takeaways do you hope your team took away from that first win of today? Well, I learned, you know, there was a couple mistakes. You know, a win is a win. You know, you can't be more proud as a coach. You know, winning by eight and then the last game corrected the mistakes and, you know, they did well. So I'm happy <laughs> and getting ready for 9 o'clock tonight. 9 o'clock tonight. All right. Do you know who we're facing yet? I believe it's the Maryland Blazers who are also undefeated as well. So 2-0 and versus 2-0 and I look forward to the matchup. Right, two undefeated teams, and before we leave, let me let let the viewers know just about the identity of this team that you've built so far with the Body Branch Sharks. Uh, Body Branch is a very very compassionate team. You know, they're they're very good young men. You know, they come together. We're all like family. We're we're a family oriented, and that's what I have preached since day one. So I can't be more proud of them. They they're awesome. They're awesome. I can't. They're awesome. Be they're awesome. I love it. Awesome team. Awesome family. Awesome. So much more from here with from me and Anthony. So stay tuned for lots more. The winner's circle continues to grow as I am here with another tournament winner from today's game, Mr. Mark Smith, head coach of the Pro Power Foundation. Let me ask you, I mean, what was the biggest takeaway from your team's win today? You know, just the energy and the effort and uh, just playing for one another. They were really excited to be out here, and it was really good. Um, we've been practicing really, really hard. And just to get them against some different competition, we were excited to see them. Yeah, and there's such a good turnout here today. Tell me, I mean, how have the fans continued to support your team throughout the season? The fans have been great, very supportive. We have great parents that are very supportive of all the boys so wherever we go they follow Please, wherever they go we follow and let me ask you last but not least I mean what do you hope your team takes away from today's tournament even if they don't come out the champion champion winners just understand how to compete at a high level how to prepare better and just focus in and just prepare for high school that's what we're really focusing in on with our eighth graders right now is to prepare for high school what it really takes mentally to focus in day in and day out Perfect. well thank you so much for joining us thank it's been a blast and good luck to your team thank you appreciate it. <laughs> thank you 
back here with the man of the hour, Mr. Robert Worthington, head coach of the Wild Lake Ti Tiger Sharks, as well as the tournament director for today's festivities. Robert, let me ask you, I mean, how are you feeling so far about this 2018 Mid-Atlantic Fall Hoops Classic? I'm feeling fantastic about it, Kelsey. I mean, the teams are excited. The teams are playing with a lot of passion. We have great competition going on, boys and girls on three different gyms. So we're excited about it. We're very proud of how the success has gone so far. Yeah, and I know your team unfortunately came up short, but let me ask you, I mean, what lessons do you hope they took away from today's game? We always tell our players, the lesson is competition. Compete. You don't play against the score. Go out there and give your best effort. If you're losing the game, keep giving the best effort because those are the life lessons you're going to have to give in life. Even if you get knocked down, you get back up and you keep competing and you keep working hard towards your goals. And talking about competing, 72 teams in this year's tournament. I mean, how are you feeling about that? I'm feeling stressed. By, I'm feeling stressed about that, but I'm really excited about it. We're really proud. It's our first year being on this tournament in this location. We're looking forward to coming back for many years. Um, all the teams are saying they're having a great time, so we're excited about that. And so far, it's been a great uh, tournament. Perfect. We're excited about and for people that want to learn more, where can they find more about this great tournament and all the great that you're, great work that you're doing here in Howard County? Fantastic. Well, uh, Howard County Youth Basketball Program has been around for 60 years. ACYP is the director and organization of this program. I'm a director of that basketball program, and we're doing great things. We're having a great time putting this together. It's about the kids. We're trying to keep them excited, keep them focused, and having some enjoyment doing something they love to do, which is the game of basketball. Perfect. Doing something they love to do. I'm not going to lie to you. I almost wanted to get back out there, but I'm too <laughs> old now. But thank you so much for joining us, Robert. Thank you. Had a blast. You Thank guys. you. Thank you. Here with Maurice Pearson, a former pro basketball player. So, yes, the legends are in the building. He's also the coach and director of the Pro Power Foundation. Let me ask you, what have you thought about today's basketball game thus far? Uh, it's brought me back to the days, you know, I used to play AAU basketball, wake up early, you get these games in, high level intensity, and you get to get the guys in here and they can play together and focus in for one common goal. You miss it, right, when you see them playing out there? <laughs> Let me ask you, what do you hope the players take from your professional career as a basketball player overseas? I hope they take that at all levels you need to be consistently disciplined, you need to have some level of focus, and most importantly, teamwork. From the first guy to the last guy, everybody can be an asset and contribute to winning a championship. And you also used to play basketball in Montgomery County, so let me ask you, how has the level of play been out here in Howard County? Howard County, i am be honest with you, I've grown up in Silver Spring and playing at Bethesda Chevy Chase. Um, haven't been out here too much often, and but the level of basketball in Maryland is great. You get the best talent in Maryland, you get the best competition, you can go outside to the courts, you can go outside to the rec centers and get a good bump in. Yeah. And for those players who might not go pro, what do you hope they take from their time as young basketball players here in Howard County or wherever they are? Honestly, for Pro Power Foundation, I envision that most of our players probably won't go pro and probably won't play high school basketball, but as long as they have a passion for the game, they'll always play. They'll always have insights that they've learned through our organization and through our uh, resources that we try to provide for them. So no matter how old they are or wherever they go, they'll be able to use those skills that they learned and keep playing. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to your team today. Thank you. Here with Isaiah Smith, a winner of two of today's basketball tournament games. Isaiah, let me ask you, I mean, what has been the key to success? You know, everyone is sharing the ball. We're giving 100% effort up and down the court. Yeah. And let me ask you, do you think your team can win it all? Yes, I do. <laughs> Tell me why. I mean, what has made your team mesh so well during this tournament? You know, we all, we're really good friends. You know, we have that chemistry already. Sharing the ball is key, key to the success. Yeah. What's your favorite part of today, Ben? I think just the experience, overall experience, um, you know, just to get this opportunity is great. And last but not least, hopes and dreams. How do you hope to use basketball as a skill or maybe as a career as you grow older? I think that, you know, teaching others, you know, how to, um, about basketball, it's not just about playing the game. It's about all the life lessons in it. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck on your next two games. Thanks so much. Here today with one of the many faces that made all of this action behind me possible, Mr. B.J. Borden, Director of Basketball Operations for the Howard County Youth Programs. Let me ask you, what, how have you felt about today's basketball games thus far? I felt, um, you know, I feel great. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's the first tournament that we've had, and um, it's the start of our season, and everything looks good. Plenty of parents, plenty of teams. Yeah. You know, all the kids and parents are happy. So it's a win-win for the program, win-win for the kids. Nice. And let me ask you, I don't think a lot of people know about what goes into a tournament. Tell us a little bit about how did you make all of this great stuff happen today? Well, first of all, it started from uh, President Bernie Dennison, who went to the county and fought for us to be able to get this gym time. We've been waiting for years. And then Rob uh, Worthington has done a phenomenal job. 
My wife, Christine Borden, has done a lot. And we've had a lot of people put a lot of time in it, and then I've kind of oversee things. And it just takes a lot of time because you have to get all the teams, you have to get the sites, and then another thing is getting all the human resources of people to work for you. So um, it all came together, and we're learning from this, so we'll do it more, and we'll even do it better next time. Perfect. And 72, 72 teams. That's crazy. Right, right, That's right. crazy. We, I mean, We could have had probably 100, but we had to stop. You know, a lot of them waited to the last minute. And that just lets you know the power of this tournament thus far. So let me ask you, even for the teams that don't come out winners today, what do you hope they take away from this tournament? Well, it's the build. I mean, you know, some we have some middle school teams, we have travels teams. And what I said to some of the middle school teams, if you're paying a travel team, you know, and then maybe they're better, you learn from it. You learn your weaknesses and you work on them in practice. And the focus at the end of the day is to get better because we want all these kids to be able to take basketball to another level, high school if they want even further. Um, so I've been coaching uh, forever, and that's my whole goal every time I coach is for the kids to be able to achieve their dreams. So that's what we hope this is able to help with. I love it. Achieving dreams, great basketball. Make sure you guys come out and support. Thank you so much, BJ, for joining us. And thank you for your Perfect. time. Perfect. Thank you. Here with head coach Greg Ross of Crofton Basketball. First of all, congratulations on today's win. Let me ask you, how has your team been feeling after your tournament win today? You know, they feel great. Uh, we don't get a chance to play in this, a tournament this large this often. We're just a hometown team from Crofton, Maryland. We're having a blast, and this is a really well-run tournament. We're loving it. And for your team to be so young, like you said, playing at a tournament this big, I mean, what lessons do you hope they take away? Well, you know, you want to see the perseverance. So far, we've been lucky and we've won. But you like to see how they respond when they lose. And that's what it's all about. It's about learning and developing and just getting better and being good sports. What were your words of motivation heading into today's game? Well, I said you never know what to expect. Some shots are going to fall. Some aren't. You have to overcome it. You just have to play hard, give 100%. And it's like life. You just have to play through it, and you'll eventually win. Nice. And last but not least, how would you describe the identity or the overall makeup of your team this year? Um, the identity, well, it's a, you know, it's a classic hometown team. Uh, like everybody, we have some bigs, we have some littles. They're trying to build their skills and develop by playing against better teams, and uh, hopefully they learn a lot. But they're great kids, awesome sports, and they give 100%. Nice. Well, we look forward to watching and following Crofton basketball throughout this tournament. Thank you so much, Greg, for joining us. Thank you. Perfect. The Germantown Heat are in the building as I am here with the head coach, Mr. Kevin Tolliver. Kevin, tell me thus far, how has your team been doing in today's tournament? So far, we're pretty good. Uh, we won the first game. We lost the second game. Okay. Thank you. We lost the second game, so we have to go through the loser's bracket tonight. So we have two more to go. All right. So tell me, I mean, going forward, what has been the message that you're preaching to your team? Um, communication, leadership, um, sportsmanship, all those good things. Yeah. Yeah. And how big is playing in this tournament for your basketball team? Well, this is a end of the season kind of uh, reward for the guys and what they've done this season. Uh, we were in um, a league. Uh, prior to this, which finished up, so I thought it would be a great, great idea to get them out and plan as a reward uh, for the hard work uh, and effort that they put out this season. Wonderful. And what would you like people out there to know about the Germantown Heat, since I'm sure a lot of people out there have not heard of your great team yet? Yes. We are a very, very large organization out of Germantown, Maryland. Uh, we probably established about uh, eight years ago. Uh, we have teams from fourth grade all the way through high school. Uh, that are playing right now, boys and girls. Uh, like I said, we're out of Germantown and we're promoting uh, teamwork, uh, effort, uh, communication, and all that good stuff. So keeping them off, keeping them off the streets and giving them an outlet uh, to go to uh, practicing during the weekend tournaments. Keeping them off the street and using sports as a tool. We commend you for all the great work that you're doing and best of luck to your team. Thanks right. so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. The hoop action is still continuing strong right here at the Howard County Youth Programs Basketball Tournament, where now I am joined by Robert Tansmore of Ellicott Mills Middle School, head coach of the varsity team. Let me ask you, how has your team been doing thus far? Uh, it's kind of tough for us. We, we, we took a loss the first game out, but it's a, it's a young team, new to playing organized basketball, so we have a lot of work to do, but it's a great opportunity to work on those weaknesses. Nice. And what was your message to your team after their play in today's tournament? Uh, to forget about the loss uh, and focus on executing uh, the things that we want to run offensively and defensively. Yeah, and tell us a little bit more about your background. What enabled you to become head coach of the basketball team? Oh, wow. Uh, so I have a number of years of coaching within the, within the county, uh, and there was an opening for the uh, position. I've coached in the league for a couple of years, but the school uh, needed a varsity coach and uh, had a coach reach out to me, and so I signed on to uh, be the varsity coach. Let me ask you, what's the favorite part of your job coaching? Uh, I guess, I guess the, the most beneficial or 
um, uh, favorable part of the, 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 the coaching experience is just to see kids grow from one week to the next week, uh, especially to see the transition from where they began to where they evolved to at the end of the season. And last question, I mean, how do you hope the youth take the skill or sport like basketball? How do you hope they apply it to their everyday lives? Um, to always give your effort. You, can, you can't always dictate what your performance is going to be, but you can always dictate how good your effort is going to be. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Back here at the Howard County Youth Basketball Tournament where so much action continues to take place, but of course it always starts with the officials. And I am here with the supervisor of today's officials, Mr. Rick Russell. Rick, let me ask you this far. How do you think the officials have been doing in the game so far? I haven't heard a lot of parents complaining or yelling, so it seems like your job's been going pretty good. Well, actually it has. Um, the, the choosing of the officials is a, uh, an interesting situation. And, uh, you know, these are all officials that have worked for me for many years and have uh, been certified and know the rules and the ins and outs. So we try to make sure that they uh, give the kids a fair shake in everything they do. A fair shake. And Rick, I understand you have over 30 years of officiating experience. I mean, what has kept you in it so long? Well, I played the game in high school, and I just loved the game. And I always, I always wanted to stay as a part of the game. And to be a part of the game and be out on the floor with the kids and in the action, that's what really kept, keeps me going. Nice. In the action, on the floor. But I also understand that you'll be soon retiring um, and giving it all up. What are you going to do in your free time? Well, uh, hopefully I'll be able to help train new officials as they come up and uh, just keep assigning, uh, you know, the rec leagues and stuff like that. But I'm kind of uh, retiring from the high school and college ranks and stuff like that. Last question, what has been the most enjoyable part of today's basketball tournament? The most enjoyable part is working with the kids for 30 years and going into a, a like maybe an Orioles baseball game and having someone come up and say, hey, ref, you refed me when I was. Uh... <laughs> so that that's kind of what was the most enjoyable, just seeing the kids mature and, and grow into you know strong adults. Rick, thank you so much for joining us. We had such a blast and hope all of the officiating continues to go well at today's tournament. Thanks so much. Thank you. We know none of this action could happen without the parents, so yes, I am joined by one Mr. Steve O'Neill, a parent of a player at Glenwood Middle School. Let me ask you, how have you felt about your son's play thus far? Uh, so far, they're playing pretty good. It's their first game of the season, so uh, they got a few things to work out, but so far they're having a good time, and that's all that matters. And Steve, there's a lot of other parents here. Let me ask you, how big has community support do you think uh, have been to all the youth playing in today's tournament? I think it's a tremendous tournament. There's a lot of people here, and uh, the talent level is pretty outstanding for eighth graders. So I don't have a younger child, so I'm only dealing with the eighth grade kids. And as a parent of an eighth grader, let me ask you, what lessons do you hope your son takes from basketball, even if he doesn't continue to go on and play basketball as a future career? Well, I hope, uh, from my perspective, it's good sportsmanship, teamwork, and, uh, you know, building life lessons that he can take on for the rest of his life. Perfect. And last but not least, what has been your favorite part thus far of watching your son's journey in basketball? Uh, I just think the way he's grown as a player over the last couple of years, his confidence level and uh, his ability to find other players on the ball court. So it's good. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for joining us. It was a pleasure. Good luck to your son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here with Griba Gamble, a sponsor of today's event, representing the B-Ball machine. Yes, this refers to this wonderful device in front of me. So, Griba, let me ask you, what exactly is this? So this is actually a dribbling device. This helps you and brings um, strength to your dribbling and your movements. So we created this probably a couple years ago, and um, I was able to find a manufacturer to put this together. I used to be a professional basketball player, so I was looking and building my dribbling skills and trying to figure out how I can make my skills a little bit faster and doing certain things. So I created this belt. And so it's kind of like a weight vest when you're running and you put a weight vest on top of you and you're running and then when you take it off, you're actually, you feel faster. So this is something very similar. It's, you strap it around your waist, then you also strap it around your wrist, and then you do any type of behind the back, uh, crossovers in between the legs, and this will assist you and basically restraint from you doing those movements. So when you take it off, you're actually more fluent and a lot faster with your dribbling movements. Nice. So how do you think this particular device will overall change the game of basketball, especially at the youth level? So I think a lot of people now are watching Steph Curry and shooting from half court, which is fine. I mean, if you can shoot, you can shoot. But ultimately, a lot of these kids are not understanding that dribble is very important. 
and to get you to the basket and to get your shot open, dribble is important. So I think this device is going to definitely enhance their game and concentrate on things that they're missing. And dribbling is something that the game is missing now these days. Nice. Dribbling is a key component. I still hear my coaches uh, yelling at me in my head for my basketball playing days. But last but not least, let me ask you, why this tournament? Why did your company decide to sponsor this particular tournament um, in today's youth here today? So I actually, I'm actually from the area, and I started playing in Howard County youth programs when I was uh, 10 years old. So I thought coming back here from New York and being back in Howard County and having a young three-year-old to give back into the community. And so I'm glad to sponsor and whatever I can do to give back to the kids and back to the community here in Howard County, that's what I'm looking to do. And so that's why I sponsored it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Watch out for the b-ball machine. I'm sure everyone will soon be using it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you back here with the parent as we know they all make the action happening here at the Howard County Youth Programs Basketball Tournament. I'm here with Mr. Leonard Franklin, a parent who is a big supporter of today's action. So let me ask you, what exactly brought you out today? I love watching young people play sports. Um, just the interaction of playing sports and being among their peers. It's positive. I love it. And I mean, the true commitment, people might not know, but your son actually had a flag football tournament and you're still here today. I so I mean, what do you think overall about the parent support? I love it. I mean, I think it's very important for all kids to have the parent support, especially. And basketball. It seems like a lot of youth are playing basketball. But overall, I mean, how do you hope they take the life lessons that they learn from basketball and hope to overall incorporate them into their everyday lives? Exactly. Exactly. I think sports, like you said it all right there, sports incorporates everything. I mean, at the workforce, you got to be a team. <laughs> you know, at business, you got to be a team. So I think sports is just connects. is just perfect. And to those who aren't at the tournament, what would you tell them that they're missing from today? Oh, <laughs> just the pure joy. I just love it. I just, I just love the atmosphere. It's just positive energy. And I just love I just love being around positive people. Positive energy, positive people. It's all happening right here at the Meadowbrook Athletic Conference. So thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank you Pleasure. The parent support continues to grow as I'm here with another parent, Ms. Heather Hilty. Heather, I understand your son played in today's tournament. What, how proud of you overall were you of your son? I am very proud of him. He, um, this is our first time playing in this league, so um, he's played since he was five with EYO, so this is a new experience for him on his middle school team. Nice. And overall, I mean, just watching him play, I know he came up short and did not win, but what do you hope he took away from the game? I just hope he had a great time. Um, he's the team camaraderie. I love the team. Um, we're the boys are really great about sportsmanship, and I really want to see them kind of come together. It's the first time they've played together as a team, so only two games in, so they're doing pretty good. Nice. And so far, I mean, what has been your favorite part of today's festivities? Watching him play. He loves sports. Um, baseball is his main sport, but he loves basketball, loves football, so he's always excited to play. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with the head coach of the JV team at Clarksville Middle School, Mr. Eric Jane. Eric, overall, how has your team played thus far in today's tournament? We had two very different games. We, the first game, uh, we lost by probably more than 40 points. Um, and there was certainly a lot that we could have learned from that. And we made some adjustments. In the second game, we won by two or three points. So <laughs> two very different games. Uh, proud of the boys, though. They learned from their mistakes in the first game. And, and really, we looked like a different team in the second game. What has our overall message, our word of inspiration been for your team today throughout this tournament? Just keep playing hard, uh, keep the effort up, no matter what the score is, play to that final minute and, you know, give your best. Yeah, and what lessons do you hope they, that they've learned from today's tournament and hope to really continue to propel them into the basketball season? Uh, that basketball's a team game and, you know, we need each other and, you know, you're never really out of it. Um, everybody makes a run in basketball and, you know, you just got to kind of slow their runs and, and, and make sure that you're taking advantage of yours. And last but not least, what words of advice would you give to other coaches in today's tournament? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, for, I think for a lot of coaches, this is maybe the first game of the season. So, you know, you come away from these games and there's like 30 things you want to work on. So, you know, try to try to simplify it. That's what I did in the second game. I felt like I tried to ask too much of them in the first game and second game just simplified what we were trying to do. Perfect. Well, Eric, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Perfect. Thanks. Day one of action is in the books as we close out here from the Howard County Youth Program's basketball tournament. That's right, 
the 2018 Mid-Atlantic Fall Hoops Classic where we had so many great teams competing today. We've heard from coaches, players, parents, and yes, the tournament director. But most importantly, from the boys and girls teams playing here today, we've learned the importance of dedication, discipline, and determination in winning today's games. Now, yes, not all teams came out on top, but the true winners of today were the team. Yes, we've heard so much about everyone putting in the teamwork to make the dream work. There is truly no I in team. Well, we'll be closing out from right here at the Howard County Youth Programs Basketball Tournament until tomorrow. I'll see you guys then.